long canine teeth, sharp claws, and strong arms. They can run, jump, and climb faster than humans. But it's their intelligence you should worry about because they'll study you and could beat you at your own game. Here's how to survive a baboon attack. Baboons are found in parts of Africa and Arabia. Many people know baboons by their swollen pink butts, but this only happens to females when they are ready to mate. They're some of the planet's biggest monkeys and share 91% of their DNA with humans. Thanks to their omnivorous diet, their teeth are sharp and dagger-like, and their impressive speed allows them to have momentum and attack with great physical power. Which diseases could you catch from them? Why shouldn't you smile at them? And how could a Twinkie save your life? Their funny face can turn terrifying in seconds. Here's what you should do if a baboon suddenly goes bananas. Step one, know their territory. You may be at risk of encountering baboons if you are in South Africa in any area near a forest. They will often come out of the protection of the trees to scavenge. In places like Cape Town, there are often signs warning you that a certain area commonly has baboons. If you see just one baboon, stay alert. There could be about 50 members of its troop nearby. People who live near forests sometimes have to deal with troops raiding their houses looking for food. Step two, don't show your teeth. When you are around baboons, do not look them in the eyes or smile at them. They can interpret visible teeth as a sign of hostility. Never feed them, whether you're at the zoo or seeing them in the wild. If you have food on you, the baboons will try to grab it. If that happens, don't challenge them. Just let them take it and move along. Step three, to run or not to run. Never try to physically interact with baboons. Back away from them without making sudden movements. If you need to take a path through baboon territory, keep a safe distance and walk around any you encounter. Baboons will sometimes run towards you while vocalizing, but back off when they are very close. If this happens, do not run, make eye contact or yell. But if they keep threatening you, be ready to drop your bags and run. Step four, create a distraction. Baboons are only aggressive if you provoke them or make them feel threatened. If one attacks you, you must get it off you as quickly as you can. Drop or throw something that may interest the baboon. It may stop and examine it. Like that Twinkie you were saving for later. If the attack continues, scream for help. Having more people around will help spook it away. Step five, prevent rabies. You will have to get tested for various viruses and bacteria after any aggressive contact. Baboons can carry the hepatitis A and Epstein-Barr viruses, not to mention the cytomegalovirus. These can cause diseases in humans. They can also transmit streptococcus and tuberculosis, and you'll need to get rabies shots just to be safe. Now that you know why baboons are so dangerous, you wouldn't dare try to bring one home as a pet, would you? Every day, thousands of people risk being bitten or mauled to death by their exotic pets. And we've made a list of the most dangerous ones. Find out which ones right here on How to Survive.